In this video, I will demonstrate how to convert or compress documents stored in OpenText Content Server to PDF with just a few simple steps. Document compression can enhance business efficiency, ensure compliance, reduce cloud storage and egress costs, provide document standardization and accessibility, etc. To set the stage for the demo, I have documents in various formats so we can step through the conversion process. In the action bar, you'll notice a couple of new items convert documents and merge documents. In addition, we have a split document menu item in the functions menu. The three main use cases for the PDF optimization and assembly suite product is to convert, which is a one-to-one -one conversion of a source document to PDF. A merge document operation basically takes multiple documents and merges them into a single PDF, whereas the split option is the opposite, where you take a single document and you split it out into multiple PDF documents. For today's session, we'll focus on the convert documents. I'm going to go ahead and select all the documents and a uh, subfolder in the list, and then we'll launch the conversion screen. The list of documents and folders to be converted is listed at the top, followed by a strategy. A strategy is a collection of settings used to convert the source document to PDF. For example, image files can be converted to a PDF with a strategy optimized for compression, whereas other file types can be configured to produce the best quality. The automatic mapping feature allows the administrator to pre-configure these mappings so users don't need to worry about it. However, the mappings can be overridden by power users if need be. Include subfolders will process any subfolder within the collection of files that you're going to convert. And the converted document options allows the user to choose where the uh, converted file is going to be located. The default is to keep it in the same location. You could also add a new version to the existing document, rename the original, or add a rendition. For the demo, I'll just uh, rename the original to, uh, to underscore converted so that we can do a comparison of the compression sizes afterwards. There are more advanced options like OCR, bookmarks, table of contents, etc. Post conversion actions. The default behavior for the documents would be to inherit the uh, categories and the permissions uh, for the folder where the new documents are going to be located. But if you wanted to maintain the source permissions and categories, you can choose these options. The module is configured to use jobs for the conversion process, so we're not waiting for it in the UI. So the jobs can be executed uh, right now, or they can be scheduled to run at a specific time. With demo, I'll just click on Run Now and then choose Convert Documents to start the conversion process. So I'll go ahead and click on Conversion Job to get the details of the uh, conversion. The name of the job gets created with a date time, with all the status, you know, the time that the, uh, the job was created, what time it finished, etc., with all the appropriate statuses. And then the files that were converted, uh, we also have the details of all those uh, objects as well and a link to the actual uh, document themselves. So what we'll do is kind of go back to the source documents again, and we'll click on sample documents, and then we'll compare the source to the PDF uh, conversion. So you can see here we have a TIFF file, binary magazine with heavy text. It was 133K, reduced down to 89K. Uh, we also have a PowerPoint presentation that was 324KB, and it was reduced down to 296. And then, Further down, we see Forbes article and um, images JPEG, which was originally a six megabyte file reduced down to 82 KB. So there was quite significant compression on that specific one. I'll go ahead and click on the um, link to open up the document. So you can see the source document right here. And then I'll go ahead and up, up, open up the uh, PDF uh, version of the same document. And you'll notice that the uh, quality is, is quite good. It's uh, very, uh, similar to the actual source document. We also had a subfolder in this list. So uh, there was some documents in here. It was actually a PowerPoint presentation, and it converted the um, PowerPoint to a PDF as well. So it processed all the documents in the uh, subfolders as well. So hopefully that gives you a uh, quick overview of how easy it is to convert documents to PDF. Thank you for watching.